Pilots often go paragliding in strong wind because you can soar above the hill. But the wind and turbulence can be dangerous. In this video, you'll learn a simple method to launch from the slope, see where to fly your paraglider to get the maximum lift, and how to stay safe around the hill. At the end, I've got a killer method for landing that works every time. Okay, the wind's coming across the slope. I don't want to launch the glider over there because that's pulling me down the slope. So let's bring it all the way around to this side. I'm bringing it up to the upslope side. That's good. A bit of a cross. So I'll come around like that. Do my normal reverse pull up, hand, and the brake on the outside. Okay, it's just misbehaving a bit now. I'm gonna get it into a nice wall like that. Just doing that up tip, letting it come up, keeping it on the uphill side. Now I can use that to take me up the hill. If I run faster at the wing, it depowers it, drops the wing down to the tip. If I lean away a little bit, it's gonna rise slightly more up. But from there you can just go as high as you need to to start getting lift. And then you can soar from there. I expect a little bit of turbulence behind these trees, so I'm giving myself a little bit of clearance. There's it. I sped the glider up a bit. Gonna use this bowl. Be a little careful now, because I think there's gonna be some turbulent walk in here as well. I don't need to climb right up to the top, because I've climbed a little bit. That's enough. So from there, I'm gonna go across the slope. Of this beat, I've got to be careful because I'm running downwind, it's pretty quick. So I don't want to be closing in on the slope and have turbulence. I'm still getting a little bit of lift there. Now I can expect this whole wall in front of me to be firing up with lift because the wind's coming straight in on the slope. I'm avoiding the traffic by going out to the right of the traffic. I'm tucking in just so that I get into the lift band. Around about here. I don't want to go too far on the corner because I'm going to have a Venturi there. Clear my turn, turn through, and soar along this beat. Okay, how close should you go for soaring? Do you need to be really in close against the slope? Well, probably not, but you need to be within about 10 meters, I'd say, so that you've got the airflow going up the hill and you've got enough space to take out any turbulence swing throughs which might make you impact the slope. So this is a very good position for soaring. Assuming the air is smooth, I'd be happy at this distance. As you go up, always go out. You can afford to go to the front of the lift band to get the maximum safety so that as the wind increases at altitude, you can run away on speed bar if you need to. Don't soar all the way up the terrain, right to the top, and then try and move forward. You can see how far forward the lift band, I've just come out of the lift band now. That was the extent of the red soaring lift band, to about there, in these conditions. Hey, where do you find the best lift on your paraglider? Well, if you look at the terrain, First, work out what the direction of the wind is. So that's gonna be the direction where you're moving the slowest over the ground is when you point it into wind. So for me, that's that direction. Now I look at the terrain and I try and work out where is the slope that's gonna kick that wind straight up the most. On the sides, the wind's gonna get diverted and straight in front of me here, the wind should be pushed up and over perpendicular to the slope, around about there. And there we go. There's the lift. And I'm going to turn here fairly early so I don't get myself stuck right at the back of that channel there. So now I'm in the probably the best spot for the lift fan. A little bit of brake on just to maximize the climb rate and slow me down through the lift band so I don't fly out the other side. Gives me a maximum time in the lifting air. But as I get higher, I'm being a little bit more careful about the wind strength because there's going to be a gradient. So it's an increase in strength as you go up and also as you get to the acceleration points on the hill. So I can show you now, if I go around here, 
Expected a very little forward speed over the ground. It went slightly accelerated there. Best position for forward speed should be somewhere around here on the separation line. It's around about there. That's a happy place to fly. And again, I go too far over and up this channel. I'd expect to find an acceleration over the top here and not much forward speed around about here. I don't want to pin space, but you can see there I've got very little forward speed. I'm on a bit of brake, but that's the idea. Get the same effect somewhere over here on the top of the hill. So I'm using speed bar. I <laughs> don't want to get stuck up there. A little bit turbulent makes it difficult. So there you can see I'm just hands up trim and haven't got much forward speed at all. So I want to accelerate out. Get into the front of the hill, front of the lift band, where I've got my maximum freedom. Which is somewhere from about here on. There it's nice. So now I can come off the bar again. Settle down and follow that line. Alright, here's my basic strong wind landing approach. I'm coming into a landing field here. I'm going to use the side that doesn't have trees and to kick off turbulence. I'm on the upwind edge of my field. I'm going to cross the upwind edge of my field. I'm watching the ground for signs of wind. I can see wind on the water. I lose my altitude at the upwind edge of the field. This is quite a nice position here. I can see I've got hardly any forward speed. I'm going to come downwind into my landing field. I'm going to go crosswind fairly early so that I have got space to get blown back if needed. Turning into wind here. And I'm going to set up just using my back risers so that I can kill the wing as I touch down. So getting my feet down, legs down, ready to land. Touching down here, nice pull, and then move to the side so that the wind's coming across your wing. And now you can walk across to the upwind tip. Sometimes it'll blow over, but once you've got control here, tip it in, tip it in, and there we go. You got your wing, no worries. The biggest danger for soaring pilots is when cloud hides the mountain. Learn how to deal with this situation in my gust front video. Click the link on screen or in the description or comments.